Good morning. This is your media report for Monday, December the 19th, 2016. I'm Sergeant Chuck Breen, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Since Friday morning, December the 16th, until today's date, police have responded to 312 calls for service. The St. John Police Force would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email, police at stjohn.ca. Or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. On Friday morning at 10.37 a.m., St. John Police responded to the CIBC on Main Street West for a call of a male attempting to open up a bank account using false identification. Responding officers were advised by staff that the male had left the bank prior to their arrival. Officers searched the area and located a male matching the description of the suspect. Upon speaking to the male, officers found that he had a number of pieces of identification on him that appeared to have been forged. As a result, police arrested the 34-year-old male for uttering forged documents. Further investigation revealed that the suspect had been involved in at least one other fraud in the city. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Fraud Unit. The suspect, who is from Montreal, is being held to appear in court. On Friday night at 8.18 p.m., St. John police officers on patrol on Waterloo Street were flagged down by a male who pointed out a male walking along the road who had just tried to smash the windows out of his van. The complainant reported that his family was in the van when this happened. Officers approached the suspect, who appeared to be intoxicated, and attempted to speak to him concerning the incident. The suspect refused to speak to police and challenged the officers to a fight. At that point, Police arrested the 37-year-old male for attempted mischief and resisting arrest. He was held to appear in court. At 3.32 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a disturbance at a residence on Paddock Street. Responding officers learned that a male who was intoxicated had cut himself and needed medical attention. Paramedics who arrived at the scene attempted to treat the male who started yelling and swearing at them and was non-compliant. Police attempted to assist the paramedics and at that point the male kicked one of the officers. As a result, police arrested the 20-year-old male for assaulting a police officer. He was transported to the St. John Police Station where he was treated by paramedics. Officers learned that the male was on a court order with conditions to abstain from the consumption of alcohol and non-prescribed drugs. He was also charged for a violation of his court order. He was held and later released to appear in court on a future date. On Saturday evening, at 6.24 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a break and enter at a residence on Sandy Point Road. Officers were advised by the caller that he had been away since the 16th of December, and when he returned this state, he found that the back door to his residence had been forced open and a number of items from the house had been taken. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Major Crime Unit. On Saturday night at 2.12 a.m., while on patrol on Canterbury Street, St. John police officers noted a group of people who appeared to be fighting. When officers approached the group, they noted two males who were arguing and had appeared to have been in a fight. When officers attempted to disperse the crowd, one of the males continued to be aggressive by yelling and screaming. He appeared to be attempting to restart the fight. As a result, police arrested the 20-year-old male for causing a disturbance. While being arrested, the male resisted officers and was also charged for resisting arrest. The suspect was held and later released to appear in court on a future date. At 4.29 a.m., St. John Police checked a residence on Wentworth Street for a male who was supposed to be under a court-ordered house arrest. The male was not there and his whereabouts were not known at the time. On Sunday afternoon at 4.55 p.m., police were able to locate the 19-year-old male and place him under arrest for violating a court order. He was held for court. This concludes the media report for Monday, December the 19th, 2016. Have a good day, and remember, let's be careful out there.